today I'm gonna make for you ground turkey meatloaf now as you know that's not a Jamaican staple meal but I have two pounds of ground turkey and I am going to show you the process making it this is something my son asked me to make so I said okay here go the here go the twist on it. I will be using my authentic Jamaican jerk sauce. Chris's authentic Jamaican jerk sauce. So what we're gonna use today is two pounds of ground meat, onions, bell peppers, um, two eggs. I'm gonna use. Um, two different color bell peppers. You can use as many different ones as you'd like. I got two eggs in there. I have a pack of onion soup mix. That right there is the flavor, the, the real good flavor that that's gonna give it. Oh, I also have a half a tomato diced up in small pieces. I have, um, some garlic, some onion powder, the two eggs, and a tablespoon, I mean, not a tablespoon, a cup of um, breadcrumbs, a cup of breadcrumbs with the two eggs, a, a half a cup of milk. You can use evaporated milk, you can use almond milk, you can use whatever kind of milk you want. The milk helps. To, to keep the meat from drying out because you're using the breadcrumbs in there so to help the meat helps to keep the milk help to keep the meat moist so once you put all your seasoning oh and I also use a tablespoon of um, Parmesan cheese I did put in there and then I use that's my onion and my garlic right here and my Parmesan. And I use like a tablespoon of my own Chris's authentic Jamaican jerk sauce. That adds a little kick to it. I'm using the hot. And once you get all the ingredients in the bowl, all you do is um, put it all together, rub it all together. Uh, mix it all together and once you get it all mixed together you put it in a loaf pan shape it up put it in a loaf pan once you let it you preheat your oven at this point at 350 and I pretty much have mine cooked for hour and a half I think basically you have to use a thermometer if you need to and uh, make sure the in t internal heat of your meatloaf is about 160 degrees. But pretty much that's it. And I put, you can see my jerk sauce in there, making it really nice. The flavor, the onion soup is a staple in there too that gives it a really good flavor. That's why you don't have to use a lot of sodium. I didn't even use no seasoning salt because that onion soup has a lot of flavor in it. The eggs help to hold the meatloaf together. So that is my version of um, Chris's authentic Jamaican jerk meatloaf. <laughs> yeah, man, I saw me do it Chris style. Listen, and I'm going to tell y'all this. Every video I make, I'm going to... Yeah, most videos I make, I'll be using Chris's authentic Jamaican jerk sauce. Because it is that type of a versatile sauce. You, you can use it in everything. There it is. <laughs> For the top, I mixed up some two tablespoons of brown sugar and some ketchup. I put it over the top and I put it back in the oven for 15 minutes. It's a good nice. Yes.